Over the years I've caught a lot of fish, starting with a 6 pound rockfish off of North Beach Pier, and I've consequently have learned some things about fish. But some people like to tell me that I know a lot about fish, and when they do, I like to bring up a certain story and contradiction. So when I was 11 years old, I was fishing on the headboat with my dad when I saw someone else catch a rockfish and call it a striped bass. I brushed this off thinking how silly, he didn't know the tell a difference between a freshwater striper and a saltwater rockfish, the latter being the only one I'd ever seen in person at that age. So the following week I looked online and realized that Maruna soxatilis is actually only one species. And this realization did two things for me. Number one, it made me realize that I actually knew nothing about fish. Who? what is this? What in the world is this? And number two, it sparked my interest in being able to identify fish. Then one day when I was high school age, I was walking to a local lake to see what fish were there that I could identify, when I noticed two people backpack shocking up a creek, and I was immediately sold on what I wanted to do with my life. And I knew Virginia Tech could help me with that goal. So I spent the next several years catching all the fish I could while finishing high school, spending two years at community college, volunteering to stock trout. That oh, I wanna get that! Go get it! and learning over a hundred Latin names of game fish in preparation for ichthyology, as well as learning how to ID extinct species of fish based on their teeth. Then once I got to Blacksburg and started volunteering for Katie McBain, I realized that I knew nothing about the non-game fish of southwest Virginia, as I could only ID one fish the first time we went to do a depletion survey. And now after taking ichthyology and volunteering for Katie and Zach, learning all about the crook manners, I feel that I can confidently ID any fish I come across. As long as I remember that I'll never know everything about fish, and I'll forever be becoming an ichthyologist.